All right, I got my buddy Sully here, and what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how I um, give my gecko a good soak. In the winter time, I tend to keep the environment uh, a lot drier, just because that kind of replicates the natural conditions for these guys. And you know, I don't know that it's really necessary for breeding with these species, but it certainly isn't going to hurt any. Um, but, you know, a downside of that is you can sometimes get uh, food and shed skin and things built up. You know, these guys are really big and heavy bodied and so they'll walk through their food dish. Then they'll climb up into the upper reaches of the environment and uh, that food will dry. And I'm going to try to show you some of that dried food. You know, a good example here on the side of his head. Well... It's kind of hard to see. I feel um, it's kind of hard to do this and hold the iPad at the same time. You can kind of see a little bit, that little brown spot there. That's just where he drug his head through his food, and that's kind of dried on there. You know, he's also um, on his uh, bottom of his feet. He's got some food that's dried on there. And so a good way to get rid of that is to do a soak. Now, what I do is I get a just a shoebox container like this. Um, it's just the same size container I would use with my hatchlings to keep them in. And it's got just a little bit of water. You can kind of see it's it's not even, um, not even half an inch probably. And all I do is I'm going to put this guy in there and he's going to squirm a lot. Oh, maybe not. And I'm going to put the lid on. Now the water itself is not cold, it's lukewarm. Um, don't want to put him in cold water. And I'm going to leave him in there for about 20 minutes at the most. And during that time it will kind of soften up a lot of that uh, either unshed skin or it will soften up the dried food on the skin. And, uh, and then you can kind of just take a wet rag or a paper towel and kind of rub that off gently as best you can. Um, and if you've really got some, some problem shedding or a lot of dried food, you can do multiple soaks. I wouldn't leave them in there any longer than 20 minutes at a time. Um, I would soak them 20 minutes and then pull them out, get you a wet, wet rag, try to rub off some of that... Uh, shed or food and then you know let them get good and dry and then put them back in for another 20 but that's really it um, most of the time if they've eaten recently they will poop while they're in there and so if you do see them poop then what I would do is clean that out and dump the water out and then just put some new water in there same temperature just kind of lukewarm and let them soak the however many minutes remaining